right, in this video, I'm going to show you a helpful tool, which is called Swing Points. And what this is, is basically a script that I have injected into my charts that basically paints these little dots wherever there is a swing high and swing low. So it's really helpful to visually see where the exact swing highs and swing lows are because my specific strategy really focuses on waiting for confirmation and part of that process is waiting for swing highs and swing lows to develop and then buying the breakout over previous swing highs or placing my stop loss over previous swing lows. So just by using this little tool, it just helps me quickly visually see where the exact points I need to focus on. Because I know for some traders, it's a little bit hard to tell where those exact swing highs and swing lows are. And this tool can kind of assist with that. Now, by default, the settings for this particular tool has it to where if a swing low is lower than the previous swing low, then it's going to form a red dot. But if a swing low is higher, than the previous swing low that is going to form a green dot. So this can assist you with quickly identifying whether we're getting lower swing lows or higher swing lows. Same exact thing, but for swing highs. If you get a swing high that is higher than the previous swing high, then it's going to form a green dot. And if you get a lower swing high that is lower than the previous swing high, then it's going to form a red dot. So again, just to quickly help you see, yes, this is a swing high that is lower than the previous swing high. Okay. Now the cool thing about training view is that basically you can design any tool that you want, plot any data point that you want through the use of coding. So if you come over here to pine editor and open that up, it allows you to inject any sort of code in here. And basically what this means is that you can design any indicator that you want. If you have an idea of an indicator or a certain tool that you want to use to plot a certain line or a certain data point, then you can create that code or hire somebody to create that code and inject it into your charts. So I've played around with this a bunch. Let me just kind of open up all the scripts that I have. These are all different indicators that I've messed around with and just kind of tweaked by just playing around with the code. So we'll start with swing points and now it's showing the code for that tool to operate. Okay, so all you really do is just copy this code and I'll put it below this video, but you're going to copy this code and then come over to Pine Editor. And if there's something in this box, just clear it out. So you're just gonna have a blank slate and then you're going to paste that code and then you're going to click add to chart. Okay, and make sure to save it if you haven't already. But once you add it to your chart, now that tool is going to pop up. I don't really mess with the settings on here except remove the values in the status line. That just removes these numbers over here. I don't think they really do anything. So it just gives me a cleaner setup. So it's the same exact process with any tool or indicator that you want to inject into your charts. I hope you all learned something and I'd like to thank you so much for watching. Oh, 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 oh,